But for those of you who are new around here, I wanted to retell the story of how I got the Mustang with tag 7271, now known as Zinfandel, and also give you some never before seen footage. I attended a Mustang adoption event held by the Bureau of Land Management in Oklahoma at the Pauls Valley location. I went with Camille and Jane just to tag along, which is a bad idea if your friends have extra space in their trailer. While there, I saw and fell in love with this gorgeous strawberry roan, or Sabino, yearling. She was tall and stood out not just because of her coloring, but she was one of the very few friendly ones. 7271 was captured on August 3rd, 2020, when she was just a tiny little baby. She had been born in Nevada in the herd management area called Maverick Medicine. She was processed and given the number 20637271. She was then offered on the internet adoption event and won by someone in Colorado. She was shipped to Paul's Valley, but her new owner was not able to pick her up, and so she forfeited her. Sometimes that happens, and lucky for me, it did in this case. So that is how this adorable Mustang Roan ended up at the Paul's Valley adoption event that I attended. Now, if you've never been to an adoption event, here's a quick rundown on how it works. You fill out an application to adopt a Mustang. There are special requirements in order to adopt. The main requirements are that you have the correct corral space, which for a yearling Mustang is at least a five foot fence with at least 400 square feet with a shelter. For adult Mustangs, you must have a six foot fence. Then you walk around and pick out your favorites, and then you bid. The highest bidder always wins. So when I decided to bid on her, I got my application in and I got approved. When it was tag 7271's turn to be offered up for adoption, I was not the only one who wanted her. I got you at 150. Two twenty-five. Two fifty. I don't want to. I don't want to. Two sixty. I got two sixty. Just be fair. Two seventy. They want it for two seventy. Two seventy. Stop. Two sixty. Woo! That's for you. I feel like it was. I won the bid at $260, which I felt like was a steal of a deal. When the auction was over, it was time to load them into the trailer. This process is always nerve wracking. Most of the time it goes well and is straightforward. The crew at Paul's Valley is like a well-oiled machine. They work really well together and they're very good at what they do. Thankfully, all went well with our girls running through the chutes, getting their tags removed, and being loaded into the trailer. She rode back with us in Camille's trailer with another Mustang, soon to be named Cora. Zinfandel stayed the night at Camille's, which gave me time to divide my round pen back at home. I already had Zara in there, and I wanted them to get to know each other through the fence first. I played around with hand-feeding Zinfandel hay while she was at Camille's. I was so excited to get started with this one. I couldn't believe I won her. She was so stinking cute. I know this setup looks a little janky with the hammock on the fence, but I didn't want her to not see the fence in between and accidentally run through it. It didn't take her long to settle. I originally got her as a project horse and had planned on rehoming her quickly, but as often happens, plans change. Zinfandel is one of those dream horses. I'll continue to get you all up to date on her journey, but just know she hasn't gone anywhere. I plan on doing all of her training. I plan on saddle training her when she's old enough and adventuring with her on trails and in low level shows. If you'd like to continue watching Zinfandel's journey, make sure you're subscribed. And if you want to sport an adorable graphic tee, head over to my website and pick up one of Mustang Zinfandel's new designs. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.